Tell the squad. I'd like to appreciate y'all for watching this video. I'd like to appreciate Almighty God, my ancestors, my angels that are here with me protecting me as I made this five video for the masses of people. I said my ancestors, yeah, etc. Uh, how you feel about yourself is the only thing that matters. Working on your internal world, working on the worlds that's within you is very important. Uh, a lot of people, they forget about that. A lot of souls and spirits, they forget about that. They feel if they say they love themselves, that's put in the work. But you got to actually do the work behind what you say. Uh, voodoo is magic So when you say I love myself And don't actually do the work behind loving yourself You just curse yourself You have to do the work Voodoo Is what you do after you say it So It's about what you do It's not about what you say It's about what you do and how you feel is very important. Putting yourself first is everything. These actors that are in your life, they want to stop you from putting yourself first so they can block you from your blessings. They want to block you from your blessings. They want to block what God chose you to do. They want to distract you from what God chose you to do. They can't do that because they are not God themselves. These actors do not have God within their spirit. They are soulless beings with no willpower to do anything. So they try to manipulate you. Into doing, stuff, into doing stuff for them. They want you to do stuff for them. You feel me? They want you to put your life on the line for them. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. So, chosen one. You are here. On a mission. You are here. To create things. You are here to create. You have mastered the God experience. You have mastered this human experience. You have mastered it. That's why everything seems the same. It seems the same. Nothing changed. Everything the fuck is same. That's why everything seems the same. But. Nothing is actually the same. You just changed. You just upgraded your senses to feel. Most people cannot feel. Most people are afraid of their feelings. They are afraid of themselves. They are afraid of thoughts. Thoughts are not real. A lot of people cannot sit with their thoughts. Chosen one. You have to understand. Thoughts are just thoughts. They are not real. And they cannot hurt you. So. You will run across. And you will have people in your life. That will project. Their thoughts. Onto you. Because. They do not, they do not have the shrimp. To sit and transmute their thoughts into something positive. The way the chosen one transmute energy is so powerful. So powerful. The way you transmute energy is on a cosmic level. Literally. Uh, okay. How to transmute energy. 
tapping into your feminine energy, tapping into your creative side. How to transmute energy, tapping into your shadow side. A lot of people, they are afraid of their dark self. They are afraid of their shadow self. A lot of people, they are stuck in the light, and there's a lot of people that are stuck in the dark. Chosen one, you have to create a balance. You have to create a balance within your eternal world. Your eternal world where everything takes place. Everything takes place in the eternal world. You will find a lot of shit in your eternal world. A lot of shit. A lot of shit that you thought you 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 you, you ran away from. Nah. That shit's still there. You know what I'm saying? All that's still there. Everything you thought you forgot about, it's in your eternal world. It's in this world. It's in the world within you. And the universe will show you and guide you to your eternal world. They will guide you. I'm saying the universe within will guide you and help you shift your reality to overcome what's been hidden from you your whole entire life. It's been hidden from you. This is not your first time here. It's clear as day. It's clear as day. You are someone very powerful and they don't want you to remember you. They don't want they don't want you to remember those other past lives, those previous lives. They don't want you to remember those lives. They don't want you to remember that. So Going back to the shadow side is very powerful. When you are able to sit with your soul, you are able to sense and feel all the torture, all the trauma that your soul has went through. You've been this ancient soul, you heal naturally. You heal yourself naturally. And... The way you hear yourself is on a cosmic level, like I said. It's on, it's on a cosmic level. And they want to stop you from healing yourself on that cosmic level, on that cosmic frequency. They want to stop you from healing yourself on a cosmic frequency. Because when you begin to heal yourself on a cosmic frequency, you remember who you are. This whole game is to distract you from remembering who you are. Okay. Your shadow self is just as powerful as your light self. That person you are when you are operating in your light is just as powerful as who you are When you are operating in dark. That's why they fear you. You have a balance between both. And most people do not have a balance between both. Most people. They were just born evil. They were just born evil. Uh Uh. Most people came into this world with a sense of no direction. They want to go just to that direction. They just want to go down there. They they don't want to, I'm saying, observe their options. They just want to do it. They just want to do something evil. They just want to do something bad so they can cause confusion in other people's lives. So look, y'all. This is energy. It's moving around. When you tap into that inner world, you will start to move energy around. You will literally start to move energy around. So, every time you go within yourself, you are literally 
transmuting that energy into something very, very powerful, very, very beautiful. And you do it on an unconscious level. That's why you are a cosmic being because everything you do is literally, it's, it's, you do it unconsciously. And your eternal world reflects in your outer world. So the more you focus on your eternal world, is the more this outer world, this false reality, it becomes of a fairy tale. It becomes of a mystery. It becomes so of a mystery. Huh. When I do this, this happens. And when I do that, that happens. Okay, let me do that again. It happened again. It happened again. It happened. It, it, it keeps happening. Every time I do it, it keeps happening. So, focus on your heart. When you focus on your heart, you will feel a change in your heart. When you focus on yourself, you will feel a change in yourself. You will feel a change in your eternal world. And when you tap into your eternal world, your memory will increase. Your memory will literally increase. You will have tremendous memory. You will start saying things that make sense. And you're going to be like, bro, I, I, damn, I always do that shit. You begin to speak from the soul. <laughs> Your eternal world has to do with your, with your soul experiences. That's why it's called an eternal world because your soul never dies. It, it's, it's energy. You are energy. You, you do not have no body. Do you remember? Don't forget now. You do not have a body. You're just energy. And your eternal world is, is energy. And when you learn to just... Be still and do something with that energy, you will definitely come successful. You will definitely become successful. There's no doubt about that shit. Because when I study most people, they all have one thing in common. They don't do nothing with that energy. They let that energy just sit. I'm saying they, they, they just let that feminine energy just sit. They don't do nothing with the feminine energy. They don't do nothing. They don't do nothing with that energy. So, you being still helps you transmute that energy you feel that's stagnant within you. Every time you feel stagnant, you can literally transmute that energy by being still. Most people cannot be still. Most people cannot close their eyes and ground themselves. Most people cannot work on a project. Most people cannot just shut up. You know what I'm saying? So when you learn to be still, that's when you learn how to literally transmute and attract energy to you off the way you feel. Because how you feel is everything. How you feel has to do with your eternal world. So, you being this powerful ancient soul, you tapping into your feminine energy heals your masculine energy. And when you tap into your masculine energy, you heal your feminine energy. So, understand you are everything. You are literally everything. You are everything in the matrix. This is a game. And when you, when you get clarity that you are everything, there is nothing you don't know. It's all a cycle. It's a karmic cycle of energy. When you break that karmic cycle of energy, you release all fear, all doubt, all judgment. That was projected onto you. These things didn't exist the whole time. 
It was just projection from the people around you. It was projection from that job. It was projected, projected from school. You had to unlearn these things in the matrix. Everything is programming in the matrix. You had to unlearn these things. That's the hardest part for most people. You have to unlearn these things. You have to reteach yourself. <laughs> you, have, you have to re- literally reteach yourself how to drink, eat, piss, shit, talk to people. Because everything they taught us was wrong. It was the complete opposite. So everything you should be doing should be the complete opposite from the way society is doing it. Because they want you to be stuck in society. So, it is still this, y'all. In the world has to do with your outer world. In the world, energy. Outer world, energy. So, when you balance energy, you create your reality. When you ground yourself and become more present in the present moment, you astral travel. And when you begin to astral travel, just just understand everything you want, it was set in stone for you. You are you are literally designed to get to this point. You was literally designed to get to this point of just knowing. Without even knowing why you know it. When you get to a point of knowing. Without even knowing why you know it. This stuff. And this information. Etc. Is set its own. You have reached. Some type of enlightenment. Within yourself. Your soul. Knows. This is the lifetime. You. Completed the contract. This is the lifetime you will complete the contract. This is the lifetime. You, you, you just know because you're remembering the karmic cycle that you went through. And, and you feel a sense of, I just broke the karmic cycle. I just completed the mission. I just completed the part of a mission. I completed some type of mission. I completed a part of the mission. Now I just got to keep going. So look, y'all, we are here for a quest. We pass tests. We are complete karmic cycles. We break generational curses. Uh, We do all these powerful things. And the present moment is all you need. Most people are not present in the moment. Most people are afraid of themselves. Most people are afraid of of their thoughts. Most people are afraid of thoughts. They are afraid of rejection. So when you get out of the fear of being rejected, you will understand rejection is is protection. It's protection. The reason you were rejected because it was project it was protecting you. Something what we said, something what we to say projection, but something is some higher power is protecting you from being betrayed, from being hurt, from being stuck in that karmic cycle. You know what I'm saying? So when you get rejected, that's a good sign that you are literally breaking generational curses. You are breaking the karmic cycle of energy. I love y'all, man.